conferência de imprensa com Toshihide Matsui e Kaito Uezegi, os campeões de pares deste Porto Open. Guys, congratulations, a special week for both of you. Your first thoughts after winning the title, please. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, we lost five times in the final in the last six months, and I've never won a, a challenge point together. So this week uh, was very special. I'm a little bit nervous going to the final because we already lost five times. And we actually lost in the final last week also. So uh, so, so today is really, really special for us. It's, uh, I hope, uh, I mean, not I hope, but um, uh, we've got a really good confidence I think, today. It's a good level of uh, doubles at the end, I, I thought. And what do you think made the difference today? Because, like you said, a great team uh, facing, facing your team. Yeah, uh, first set was tight. Uh, like I said, I, we were a little bit tight, you know, and uh, I think they were a little tight also. But uh, 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 we, you know, since we lost five times in the past, and then we lost first set to the this, you know, then shit, this is gonna be another six, but you know, run up. But uh, uh, I mean, we try to stay calm and we try to pump each other, you know. Not trying to be negative, like, you know. So we're going to stay with them, stay with them, you know, stay with them, and and then now we got a one break chance that he hit. Uh, I think down line pass to, to get a, a, a good break, and then now uh, from there I think we're we're on them like the whole the, the last uh, 50 minutes of the match. Yeah. And you guys could have lost in the semis because. Because you guys saved three oh, match points. Semi finals, yeah. Really lucky. <laughs> semi finals, lucky, really. Uh, three. Just lucky. Yeah, three match points. Yeah. 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 Well, one, he hit a good serve, so that's okay. But one match point, he hit back and volley, but it was a little chunk. Uh -huh. It was not clean. Yeah. And then the guy hit, missed it in the net. Yes. So that was, uh, I think, a uh, <laughs> very lucky point. But there was a, a great volley, I think, to save the second one. Yes, that was right. a, that was a the, yes, that was a first court volley. Yes, that was a he knew it. I mean, that, that's a good shot. It's not yeah. really that. <laughs> it, it's quite a big age gap. Uh, how did the partnership work, and uh, why do you think it could work? Because uh, it's not every day we see a player twenty-eight, yeah. I think, playing with forty-five. So yeah, because uh, we don't have a doubles player like in Japan. Mm -hmm. Like we have this guy Ben Maplatman who is top 100, but he changed his citizen from New Zealand to Japan. So we don't have really growing up in Japan and play doubles, you know. So uh, I played singles and doubles before, but then I wanted to focus on maybe doubles at the end of my career. Then this guy showed up uh, after the college and he said, you know, singles, I can play, but I want to play doubles. He's the first guy to, to to focus on doubles at the, at the age of like 23, 24. And I was already retired and I was already finished, you know. And then I thought, okay, wait a minute, maybe, you know, Federation wanted, wanted some coach help and stuff. Maybe I can, you know, help him, you know, point together, you know. No, instead of coaching, point together is the best way to learn and best way to, you know, bring, uh, ranking up. So, so then uh, COVID-19 started, so I stayed home two years, I have family, so I don't want to travel, you know. And uh, he traveled a little bit playing futures, so he brought, you know, brought up his ranking up. Then I got the protect ranking during, from the COVID-19. So I, you know, I said, okay, maybe then we can try, maybe challengers, with my protect ranking and with his ranking uh, from futures. Uh, then this is the first year we play fully. Last year I only played half, from June to December, from June to November. You know, I only played one time in February, whatever. But, but only half year last. This year the only year. First year we played from New Caledonia, January, until today. So hopefully uh, we'll be a, a strong Asian team out there. And uh, and uh, now Asian tournaments are coming back: Korea, China, Japan, and Japan Open. Maybe you have a chance. You know, so. That's why I keep keep working harder than him to, to you know <laughs> to stay in a good shape, you know, to stay up with him. And it's paying off for sure. But do you have any support from the Federation? I don't. He does a little bit but not financially. Okay. But uh, we have our, our personal sponsorship, you know, so that that's a big help. 
and uh, my family, uh, they actually want me to keep going. <laughs> get out the get out of the house, go go travel, go travel, play. I say I wanna stay home. Maybe they like the trophies. Yeah. I don't know. So yeah. And with the Olympics coming up, it's like a dream for you in the end of your career to Yes, if it happens. And then we have to win like this match. Big points? Yes, yeah. five, six times in a row. And then no, oh, it's not impossible. But it's like a goal, a dream, how do you see it? No, well, I, I told him, uh, I, I, this year uh, I tried my best, full, like get, getting fit, physio, you know, I tried my best. Next year, I, didn't, I don't know. But if the ranking goes up, like like you said, close to Olympic uh, nominate, nomination, or play, getting wild card into Japan Open, which is ATP 500, or something like this, then uh, yes, I might keep going, but... Uh, Right now, we try to focus on every week. Like, we're not even dreaming about Olympics or, or Grand Slam yet. We are still about 140, 130 after this week. Yes. So we need to be you know, more, right? Yeah. We need to be better in the ranking. I was asking that because with your age, with all the respect, of course, you have to grab something. To have, you have to have some motivation to keep going because yeah. It's not easy, I guess, to, to wake up every day and oh, get to yeah. the gym. Yeah. So maybe it's one of the, your motivations to get to the Olympics. My motivation is more, uh, more like I, I like getting uh, improved. Like I, wanna, I like getting better. Like, you know, like volleys, a little bit serve, returns, you know, getting better. Like I, I like getting better shape and stuff. So the goal is, yes, the Olympic, I can say Grand Slam and stuff, but I know it's 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 uh it's it's not that easy to say now it's easier because we want we just want 125 but before coming here uh, we're not even talking about it we, maybe we're lucky to have a japan open uh wild card let's say that's the goal for 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 right now for this summer and if we if we can appeal that they are a good team with good team and give me the wild card then then I think it's a, it's a good. So now our motivation is to play Japan Open, it's a big tournament. And now from there, we used to have four challengers in Japan, and let's see the end of the end of the year. And then Asia Pacific Grand Slam. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, also have Wi Fi playoff. You know it, huh? <laughs> you step know. by step. Step by step. But the, we didn't have it the last three years, four years. The playoff. The playoff. So, yeah, because of COVID, China don't, yeah. doesn't want to have it. This year, hopefully, they have it, but uh, I don't hear any news about holding the tournament, playoff tournament. If there is, that's the the, the biggest motivation. Yeah. Maybe last but not least, uh, what do you think about court on the tournament? You've, you've said a few things on court, but if you can tell us here. No, 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 court is great. You know, uh, the match before, did you see it? Unbelievable with, with this guy, so that. Playing, of course, it's yes. so that's a soda, but I, I like it. It's like a football, you know. It's like, <laughs> and I, Japan, everybody's quiet, everybody's quiet, <laughs> yes, right. But uh, we need that. I like the energy, you know. Some Portuguese today was cheering us up, you know, during the changeover. Yes. I like it, you know. Tennis should be like that. Really? Yeah. You think so? Huh? Do you think so? Like, yeah. like a college atmosphere? Huh? Yeah, yeah. The, the culture here is good. A little bit like Latin, you know? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But did you enjoy the city, the restaurants, the food? And Not yet. We uh, wanted to go sightseeing. Go see the bridge or a boat or something. Yeah. Maybe tonight. Yeah. Um, enjoy. Yeah. It's a beautiful city. Yes. <laughs> People pay, you know, to, to visit here, right? Yeah. Travel. Exactly. Yeah. We always talk about Federer and Djokovic and stuff, but we should talk about you more because I think you are the oldest active yeah. player in, in ATP Tour, so yes. congrats for your... For thank you, thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the media like this, I appreciate, you know. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Okay. Thank you.